going to town again. See, I got my going to town dress on. It's the same day as it was the last time I wore this. Um, but that um, pool, they were going to blow up. Well, well, the pool is fine that I know of. But the my air compressor, the little squirty part that you attach to the swimming pool to blow it up um, is missing. I have a feeling I'm going to find it today, tonight, or tomorrow because I'm about to go buy a new one. I told my husband, because he didn't want to get back out after he got home from work, so I told my husband, if I get the wrong one, he's going to be the one to come back to the t store tonight and get the right one because I want to play with that pool. And if nothing else works, y'all, I'm just going to have to huff and puff and blow it up with my mouth. I think I got enough hot air for that. And if I don't, I know my husband does. But anyway, y'all, am I shaking? I don't, I think, I got this thing that attaches to the window, to the rear, not the rear view window, to the, and it wiggles, y'all. This isn't good. It's supposed to let me shoot a video while I'm, I'm driving. I don't know what all the police feel about that. But, but it's just like, it's wiggling, y'all. And I don't want y'all to have to deal with that. Because that's driving me nuts. And I'm not even the one having to watch it. I look over there at you every now and then. But anyway. So, oh, these cars. We're going around the curve, y'all. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I just had flashbacks of one of the <laughs> Bubba J. Is that what his what his name was? One of Jeff Dunham's puppets talking about NASCAR, and all they do is I can't remember now. Do they make left turns or right turns? <laughs> but he's just like he's making a left turn. He's making a left turn. <laughs> They're making another left turn. Because they just go around in circles. And it's a big sport driving in circles around, down here in the south. I know y'all have hockey up north. We have NASCAR. And I've never been to either sport in person. But I have watched NASCAR. I have not watched hockey. Yeah. So, yeah, I have sat in front of a TV and watch people drive in circles. Oh y'all, there's a man that was walking down the road just now, y'all, and he looks scary. Whoop. These brakes work better than my, my truck's brakes. But y'all, that man looks scary, bless his heart. He needs, he needs a lot of Jesus. Yeah, he looked be judgmental but I'm thinking he's probably okay folks okay he's probably done some prison time you know he had some of them prison looking tattoos no judgment though y'all there are some people really do find Jesus in prisons now some of them lose that fire for God when they get back into the world but not everybody does oh they just ran a red light y'all Mm-mm-mm. You know, like green is go and red is stop. And yellow means go really fast. But you know, this is what I do. And this is, I don't know why. When I'm coming up to a lot, because I want to prepare myself for stopping in case it turns red. So I'm coming up to a green light going slow. But as soon as it turns yellow, y'all, I gun it. Do y'all do that? Oh, there's a cop. Hello, Mr. Police Officer. Oh, they got some nice sporty cars. They got some new cop cars, police cars, law enforcement vehicles. Yep, 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 yep. So, anyway, any of y'all going fishing anytime soon? I want to go fishing so bad, y'all. We used to, my parents had a place up on the lake around here. 
and we would go up there during the summers and holidays and stuff you know and lord have mercy i just love me some fishing who catch them big old brim <laughs> my daddy used to say they got shoulders because they'd be so thick and fat and big but well, we ha we had a sweet spot where we used to go but it became known as um edison swimming hole because my son edison um when he was about two we were there swimming or we weren't swimming y'all it's a it's full of alligator gar where we used to fish for our brim but um we were out there fishing on a pontoon and or a party barge but it was more of a pontoon we didn't we had another one a nicer one but this one was the old one and me and my husband were sitting outside the gate confines you know because outside the gate it's like there's a little deck with some chairs and the kids were inside the little gated area with my parents. And Edison wanted to come out where we were. And so here he came, y'all, and he got his little feet tangled up. And he started falling, and he was wearing a life jacket, y'all. Now, let me, let me go back and tell you a little further, a little bit more. My son, Edison, he was two, and he had him a little, I think it was Scooby-Doo. Little Scooby-Doo fishing pole, y'all. And we'd been fishing there, and he had thrown that whole fishing rod over the boat. Not once, but twice. And my daddy, because he is a skilled fisherman, he would, I mean, he's just got grace whenever it comes to fishing. And he would put his, take his rod and throw it out, and just, like, let it sink, and then just reel it in real slow and get that hook to catch on that fishing pole. And then reel that fishing pole. My daddy did that two different times, y'all. Reeling in that fishing pole. So that, you know, he still had that fishing pole. Well, so, then we were sitting out there, and here he comes. He's got his fishing pole in his hand. And he walks through, and he gets his feet tripped up. My two-year-old, he was two at the time. And he goes to, and he's wearing his life vest. And he goes to bouncing off of us in the the gate and the chairs like he's in a pinball machine y'all and the next thing you know he's flipped over into the water and he's he's swimming and paddling but he's paddling away from the boat and my husband has his hands on him trying to hold on to him and so he finally like i'm holding i guess i'm holding chris or i'm hollering probably and then my husband gets him up and in back into the boat, up on back onto the party barge or whatever you call it, pontoon. And y'all know what was in that boy's hands? That fishing pole. <laughs> he was holding on to that sucker for dear life. <sighs> so anyway. <laughs> That's like one of my favorites. And you know that, that little fishing hole is called Edison Swimming Hole. Not by choice. But he swam in it. He's the only one of us who swam in it. Like I said. Because we've caught fish before. You're reeling in your brim. And you get it up out of the water. And there's a big old alligator gar chomping on it. Phew. But anyway. I hope y'all enjoyed that story. Because I'm at Walmart now. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye guys.